heavy rains, floods, landslides, and many disasters that is happening every now and then around the world. How could this all happen? What's the reason behind it all? Climate change. Climate change is a long-term alteration of temperature and typical weather patterns in a place. When can we say that it is climate change? It is when the Earth's climate is changing. Global temperature is warming. Weather patterns are changing. Polar ice is melting. And sea level is rising. Why climate change occur? Because of humans. Yes, humans. They made a big impact to the changing of climate, influencing the climate and the Earth's temperature by burning fossil fuels, cutting down forests, and farming livestock. These things increases the greenhouse effect and global warming. Impacts of climate change to all living things. Humans and wild animals face new challenges for survival because of climate change. More frequent and intense drought storms, heat waves, rising sea levels, melting glaciers, and warming oceans can directly harm animals, destroy the places they live, and wreak havoc on people's livelihoods and communities. It increases the risk of illness through increasing temperature. Health impacts may include like diarrhea, effects on the body's nervous and respiratory systems, or liver and kidney damage. Last May 14, 2021, due to Typhoon Crescent, our barangay experienced a consecutive heavy rains that causes flash floods. People living near the river was in deep chaos because water was rising and entered their houses. This kind of disaster was not new, but this time it's bigger. I've realized that there's so much improvements to do in our barangay. We are not environmentally friendly enough. To make the barangay clean and green, I suggest that we will plant more trees as a replacement to those who was cut. A single tree can save many lives, so how much more a lot of trees? Trees can help hold the soil to avoid erosion. It also gives oxygen and inhales the carbon dioxide. Tree is helpful, so we should plant more, more, more trees. The next thing is to clean the rivers and the canals. As we can see, the rivers and canals has lots of garbages in it. So to keep the water flow freely, we need to do operation to clean the river and the canal. In that case, it won't stop on the drainage. So now let's move forward to the proper disposal of garbages. So each household must have their own compost pits so that they will throw their garbages in there and not anywhere. So they must um, separate the biodegradable and the non-biodegradable. I've realized that there are lots of households in the barangay who doesn't have their own compost pits. That's why they throw the garbages on the river. Our barangay or our community needs to be alive and clean so that we will be safe from disasters and from sickness. This will also help to cure our dying world. Let's make it green again. Let's heal our world. As stated by Greta Thunberg, the climate crisis has already been solved. 
We already have the facts and solutions. All we have to do is to wake up and change. The world is our responsibility. It's our duty to protect and care for it. We should be responsible enough. It's not yet late to change for the better. Better to do it now than to regret it after. Maybe we can't really stop climate change, but at least we can reduce it. Fortunately, there are always things that we can do to fight against climate change. Saving the environment starts with us, and it is our responsibility to act against these terrible changes to preserve the planet for future generations. There are many ways to reduce climate change. It includes recycling, which is a cost-effective and eco-friendly process that eliminates waste and doesn't emit greenhouse gases into the environment. Protect green spaces like parks and gardens because they are important, for they absorb carbon dioxide and are associated with lower levels of air pollution. Human-induced climate change has contributed to changing patterns of extreme weather across the globe, from longer and hotter heat waves to heavier rains. From a broad perspective, all weather events are now connected to climate change, while natural variability continues to play a key role in extreme weather. Climate change has shifted the odds and changed the natural limits making certain types of extreme weather more frequent and more intense. While our understanding of how climate change affects extreme weather is still developing, evidence suggests that extreme weather may be affected even more than anticipated. Extreme weather is on the rise, and the indications are that it will continue to increase in both predictable and unpredictable ways.